Throughout the ENEOS group, businesses are developing several technologies in parallel, each suited to a different fraction of the plastic waste which is collected. INEOS has already launched over 25 new products containing recycled plastic. And alongside that, work has begun on several recycling solutions for products from styrofoam to polypropylene and PET plastic. The most widely recycled plastic is PET. So can it all be recycled? So technically, yes. However, I would say that there is a difference between technical recyclability and practical recyclability. This is Alessia Alberoni, Head of Strategy and Sustainability for INEOS Aromatics. Well, I think we need a little history here because originally PET was used in two bottle applications, uh, mineral water and uh, carbonated soft drinks. However, since the 90s, PET has started to be used in many more applications. It's used in oils, in uh, food, in cosmetic, in detergents. And to create packaging that protect those products, the functionality had to be changed. Now, the infrastructure for recycling wasn't designed to cope with this complex packaging. So effectively, it hasn't caught up with the innovation in packaging. In theory, all PET can be recycled, but some PET is more difficult than others. So this is the gold standard. This is clear, clear PET, and this can be turned back into a bottle. So this is circular. Now we have evolved our packaging to protect and preserve the content. So this PET contains light barrier technology that prevents the, the milk from spoiling. However, when this was designed, it created a great functionality, but it didn't take into account the uh, end of life. So today, this one get, gets confused by the sorting machine, ends up with the color bottles, and then it pollutes that stream. It's a complex situation, but over in Naperville, Illinois, something quite special is being built that may be about to change that. So Infinia technology is a new enhanced recycling technology. And so our target is to be able to recycle things that are otherwise thrown away um, or downcycled. Our goal is to take things that are otherwise waste and bring them back to make a, a truly circular economy. And so uh, we've built a pilot plant, which we're going to be using to test out this technology. This state-of-the-art pilot plant has been years in the making at a cost of $25 million. Built at a scale and designed to replicate a commercial plant, this machine hopes to be the proof that Infinia Enhanced Recycling Technology works. But how does this differ from normal mechanical recycling? In mechanical recycling, is when you take material, so flake for example, and you grind it up, you remelt it and make a new plastic out of it. It has limitations. The more you recycle things, it starts to degrade the properties. Um, whereas enhanced recycling, we take the material and we can take anything, including mixed flake for example, and we take it down to its building block molecules. The process of depolymerization, and we can separate all of the impurities and colorants and dyes and then we can build it back together to make a, a brand new polymer and it'll be identical to the, the virgin material. So it'd be like a, taking a cake and breaking it down to its ingredients, like the flour and the eggs. And then being able to take those raw ingredients and build it back together. when we're talking about enhanced recycling, we focus on the depolymerization, but actually that's not the most challenging part of bringing this to life. The, the challenging part, it's around separation of impurities and purification, and this is where we have know-how and also expertise. The complex PTA purification that singles out Infinia is a technology they have developed over many years. So people can really be knowing that the recycled material truly can be circular. I firmly believe that to achieve a circular economy, you cannot do so in isolation. This is why we created a consortium that combines the expertise of several companies across the polyester value chain. 
We have a number of companies that are part of our consortium. We have Alpla, we have packaging and recycling specialists. We have a waste management and recycling specialist in Remondes. We have food, drink, and consumer goods producers, Believer, Ritvik, Danor, and of course we got Ineos. One of those companies, Britvik, know only too well the importance of finding a reliable recycling solution for their packaging. Our dependency on fossil fuels is a challenge for any business today. Challenges in terms of um, carbon impacts, waste and pollution. The use of recycled materials is really important. So our commitment is to produce 100% recycled PET in our GB portfolio by 2022. We recognise the importance of collaborations and partnerships with organisations like Infinia who can take us on that journey to achieve a circular economy for plastics. I firmly believe this can take us closer to a circular economy. When deployed at scale and in multiple sites, this has the potential of diverting billions of PET trays and PET bottles from landfill and incineration. I really believe this will make a difference. Um, it's something I'm excited to be working on and um, it's really cool to work on something that, that we think could, could have an impact on, on people's lives. So.